These fast food items were banned. But did they deserve to be? I recreated some of the strangest discontinued items in the world to figure out if they should remain in food prison forever or be brought back to the menu. Starting with Burger King, the Waparito. Essentially what this is, is a Whopper turned into a burrito. So we gotta chop this Whopper up. That feels disrespectful to get rid of the buns, but it's what we gotta do. Don't judge me, I know my knife skills are bad. And we got a burrito and we just gotta put it together. Actually doesn't look too bad. Now we just gotta fold it up. And don't judge my burrito folding skills either. Okay, all right, this is actually really good. That's an easy nine out of 10 right there. I gotta stop myself before I eat the whole thing. I don't think I would personally order it over a regular Whopper with a bun, but the option should be there because it is really good. I can't believe I enjoyed a Whopperito so much. Shake them up fries. All we're gonna need is your Burger King fries and some cheese dust. Apparently these were a really big hit and a lot of people want them brought back. Kinda smells a little weird, but I'm not gonna knock it till I try it. Put a whole bunch of this in there. Maybe a little bit more. And there it is. This thing is coated in that cheese dust. Just a straight up improvement over the regular fries in every way. I don't understand how this is not on the menu. It would be so easy to bring back. So all you gotta do is give out the seasoning package. This is an easy 10 out of 10. Bacon Sunday. It's a Sunday with bacon. And I'm making it. Let him cook. I'm gonna let him. Let's chop up the bacon. Hey, that's ice cream. You really can't go wrong with that. Now let's add the bacon and see if it gets better or worse. Bacon tastes really good too, though. Oh, it just kind of looks wrong, don't it? My eyes! Let's try it out. The flavors don't really mix well. It's like I taste the ice cream and then I taste the bacon. I mean, it looks really weird, but it doesn't taste bad at all. You kind of need a lot of bacon in one bite for the ice cream flavor not to overpower it. I just think I'd rather eat both of these items separately. If you really want sweet and salty, I'd say just dunk the fries in the ice cream. So for that, I can't give this more than like a five out of 10. Burger King almost had a clean sweep, but this guy ruined it. Pickle pizza. This pizza was a limited time item exclusive to the Domino's in Japan. Keep in mind, pizza in Japan is expensive. This pizza would have cost you 5,000 yen in Japan, which is equivalent to $33. But it only cost me 10 bucks to make, so I'm saving money by making it myself. Japan is responsible for inventing some genius creations. Maybe this pickle pizza is just another one of them. Or maybe it's really bad. Only one way to find out. I ordered a pizza with Alfredo sauce. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some pickles on top of this and then bake it in the oven. We're gonna put pickles all over this pizza. All the way from Japan. Domino's pickle pizza. <laughs> yeah, that definitely don't belong on pizza. Look, we're gonna put a lot of pickles on this thing. We gotta do it right here. You know, we're missing some spots right there. We could add some more pickles in. All right, there we go. Now that's a pickle pizza right there. It smells like pickles. Bro, what did I make? Look at this thing. I'm gonna send a picture of this to Gordon Ramsay. Let's see what he thinks. There's no way this is good. There's no way. Bro, there's no way it's this bad. There's no way it's this bad. Man, I hate it. Ooh. All I taste is a pickle. Both thing together. Tastes like bread with a hint of cheese. Just a hint. And there's a bunch of pickles on top. And it's your overwhelming pickle flavor. I really don't want to eat any more of this. And I got a whole pie of it. Did people in Japan like this? Was this a big hit in the Domino's of Japan? Give me pineapple pizza every day. I would take that a million times over than the pickles, please. Whatever I imagined this was gonna taste like, this is way worse. That's it, I'm done. Zero out of 10. Jalapeno McDouble. And now we're gonna be moving on to McDonald's. All we're gonna need is a McDouble and then some jalapenos. Just gotta chop these jalapenos up. Awesome, smells like spice. Add our jalapenos. And I put a lot on. I want the full effect of this flavor right here. Yo! Hey, nah, this is pretty good here. Normally, I'm not too big of a fan of McDonald's burgers, but I really like this. I think the jalapeno adds a lot of flavor to it. There's some crunch, there's a little bit of heat. This thing is great. It's crazy how much better this is than a regular McDouble. McDonald's knocked it out of the park with this one. This is an easy 10 out of 10. Why would they take this off the menu? It's so good. And now it's time for my favorite, Taco Bell. Waffle taco. 
So I gotta make some waffles. But I don't have a regular waffle maker. So I'm gonna be using this waffle bowl maker. Look at that thing. I'm gonna break it before I can even use it. So the first step for this one is actually making the waffles here, huh? Yo! All right, that should be good, no? Yo, that looks nice, too. Damn, that's a good looking waffle right there. That looks really good. I'm impressed how well this came out now. Now this waffle taco is supposed to be like a breakfast burrito. So I've got some sausages, and normally these are supposed to come with eggs, but I don't like eggs, even from Taco Bell. So we're gonna put some of these Fiesta potato things in there, make up for it, kind of like a hash brown, you know what I'm saying? And it actually don't look kind of too bad. I made it nice, huh, you know? The sausage is kind of sweet, so it works well with the waffles. And you know the Taco Bell potatoes are always good. If they had like a little spicy salsa you could put on it, I think it would be even better. I'd have to give it like a 7 out of 10. This one is pretty good. They should bring it back. The Cheeserito. Me to make it, what we're gonna need is a cheese roll up, and we're also gonna need some Mexican pizza sauce. Now, unfortunately, Taco Bell doesn't have the Mexican pizza sauce right now, so I've just got some regular tomato sauce, and we're gonna see if that makes it work. Is this what the cheese roll up is? It's just like a big hunk of cheese in there. All right, let's add the tomato sauce to it. That looks incredible. All right, all right, let's try it out then. You know what? That's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest with you. Maybe I can improve it and make it taste a little bit more like a Taco Bell cheese burrito by adding some Taco Bell sauce to it, huh? My God, it's so saucy. Look at all this. Yo! <laughs> you know what? It's actually not too bad. It's a little plain. It's a little boring, but honestly, it's not the worst thing. I'd say for this, I could give it like a 5 out of 10. But should they bring it back onto the menu? Nah, probably not. I should not have eaten all that food.